Hey guys, guys welcome back. back. Happy New Year, or at least it's early New Year. <laughs> 2017 is almost over. I am so ready to be done with this year. There is so much that has happened. Some of it good, some of it bad. Won't discuss the bad here because I am trying not to be a negative Nancy. But um, I just want to talk to you guys about things that happened in 2017, some favorites, just like a general overview of like what happened, and then also what my plans are for 2018 um so with that being said let's jump into it so 2017 was the year that i stepped out of my comfort zone like big time all right um i for like the first five months of this year i was like traveling to conventions to work them which was absolutely bizarre, and I never thought that I would ever like work a convention, but here I was from January until May, working conventions with somebody who I was used to be friends with, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, I'm also not gonna name drop the booth, mainly because I'm not sure if they would be okay with that. Um, again, not gonna air the drama that happened, but uh, I just don't wanna like openly talk about them unless I know that they're okay with it. Um, I am friends with the owners of the booth, but I did work this booth for five months of the year, um, going to various conventions and helping out. Um, it was very interesting. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, it was very <laughs> exhausting like beyond exhausting it was so tiring being on the road for hours at a time and then sitting around doing absolutely nothing like i never knew doing nothing at a convention was so exhausting like i know i don't do anything at cons normally but at the same time it was just oh my god we would get back to the hotel room and it would be like after dealers hours and we were like what do you want to do we're just like sleep please so we i worked conventions um it was a lot of fun i got to go to different conventions that i would never have gone to like i went to asen that was actually like the last convention i worked was asen and i was just blown away i like i had heard about asen i had seen videos of asen like a long time ago so at least it was familiar to me but it was just like I didn't understand that this was basically another like big convention <laughs> that like a lot of vendors go to and so um, I may have spent a lot more money than I probably was intending to but that's fine that's fine that's fine I also got to go to Colossal Con um, I, that was one that I wasn't sure if I was working or not, but um, I ended up going to Colossal Con. I did bring my camera with me to go to, and like vlog it, but there was a lot of stuff that happened that weekend that made vlogging not a good idea. So you guys didn't get to see my first trip to Colossal Con, I'm sorry. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of pool. Pool time. Pool time. Uh, did three games of laser tag. It was great. <laughs> Also, a good thing that happened in 2017 was that I won the Masquerade. I won Best Journey Big Craftsmanship. I've talked about that enough. I've done videos on it. I will not drag this out more, but just just be aware, I'm extremely proud of myself. It's just, I'm extremely proud of myself. That's all you need to know. I've, I've framed, like, I can look up from where I'm sitting right now and I see my award and I stare at it because it just it's been over a month almost two months and I just doesn't feel real some favorites of 2017 this year sorry if you see me looking down I have a notebook with all my notes <laughs> some favorites of 2017 um I'll start with the basic uh I love to cute a cute a pretty cure Alamo. mode the show isn't done there's like five four 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 I think yeah, four episodes left. Um, I googled the wiki just to see what the like if the names for the last episodes were out, and uh, they are. And I cried looking at the title of the last episode. Um, 
these girls mean so much to me. They are so good and so pure and I just, I just love them. I just, I don't understand how like Pretty Cure fans do this every season. Just say goodbye to past Pretty Cures. I just, I don't understand this concept. Like, it blows my mind that a, a week, a week after Kita Kita Pretty Cure Allen Mode ends, Hug a Tail Pretty Cure starts, and I have to get introduced to brand new Pretty Cures. And I'm just, I'm not ready, man. I'm just not. Like, I don't know how to handle myself. I can't say goodbye. But I know I'm going to. Um, I love these girls so much. They were so good. And I I know Precure Alamode wasn't like an amazing level. I know there was it, it, there was some times that it dragged and there were times that it was just like the character development wasn't as good as it probably should have been. But I loved it. As a, a first Pretty Cure that I sat through the entire thing and watched it as it aired, it was amazing. I loved it. Another favorite is one that I'm actually currently watching. I'm about halfway through it, but it's Hard Catch Pretty Cure. Um, this is one of the universally agreed upon being like the best Pretty Cure. I mean, the best Pretty Cure is extremely like, it's opinions. So, you know, not everybody's gonna have the same opinion, but pretty much a lot of the Pretty Cure fans can agree upon that, yes, Heart Catch is like the number one. Um, and I see why. I love it. I was like, I was given a list by my friend just to see like, okay, you start here and then you're gonna work your way backwards and each one is gonna get a little less, it's not gonna get, terrible until you reach like this point but like these are pretty good so start here um i love cure sunshine i adore her i love her so much i'm so glad that she exists <laughs> um i love cure blossom too i love subomi um she's so good i'm so glad that it was definitely like it was her choice to change and it wasn't like a forced change where um you know based off of circumstances she grows up it's like she's she like actively wants to and so she actively tries to and i just i loved it and of course erica <sighs> she's so cute she's so cute and pure and i i love her I love her. I love her. Um, but I am only halfway through the show. I just got past getting Cure Sunshine in the show. Um, so I do have a little bit of ways to go. I, I think I'm on episode 28 out of 49. So <laughs> I'm getting there. My last favorite for 2017 is going to be Love Live Sunshine, um, season two, <laughs> not season one. Uh, but I loved season two. Um, like if I could give like a really in-depth description of why I like Love Live Sunshine more than I like the original Love Live, I would do it. But I don't know if people actually want to see me rant about why I think Love Live Sunshine is amazing. and while i really loved school idol project there was a lot of things that it was just like oh well that could have been better and i mean there are there are a lot of things in sunshine that i'm like that could have been better <clears throat> hanamaru hanamaru <clears throat> please when are we going to get character development that wasn't her one episode in season one But definitely Love Life Sunshine Season 2 is amazing. I absolutely adore it. I am so, so, so glad that I stuck with it. Because after Season 1, I was like, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. But Season 2 was great. Um, I can't recommend it enough. If, especially if you were like, I don't know how to feel about Aqua. Watch Season 1 just to get like a brief introduction to everyone and then watch season two because it's so much better. 
so much better. So much better. Some honorable mentions, um, some boy anime, or boy anime, boy idol anime. Uh, I watched Marginal number four, something, something, kiss, kiss, bang, bang, kiss, big, bang, who knows? I don't remember the whole thing. It's called Maji 4 for me. Um, I loved it. It was really good. I'm so glad that they dropped all the Otome aspects out of it. I think that was like an excellent idea just to focus on the boys because that's that's kind of all we care about. Like, I understand like Udapri, you've got this huge fan base. It's like, oh, we gotta follow her around. No. Most Udapri fans that I know don't care about whatever her name is. They care about the boys. Focus on the boys. Show us, show us their everyday life. That's what I want. I don't care about the protege sweet child that can do whatever despite never taking a music lesson a day in her life. Please. That's all I want. But Marginal number 4 was really good, um, I really liked it. I also liked the style of it, but I also know that that's because it's from the same people, the same company that did uh, Diabolic Lovers. Um, so imagine that style, but idols, and you got it. Um, but I loved Maji 4, I have plans to cosplay from it, but uh, we will talk about that later. Um, another honorable mention was B Project, which is an anime that aired last fall, last summer, something like that. It was last year, 2016. Um, I watched it. I loved it. Goshi is my favorite. I love him. I love Goshi, but that's because Kari definitely was like, he's the edgy rock boy. And I'm like, oh no, my brand. <laughs> oh no, my brand. <laughs> Oh, so predictable when it comes to the boys. Where's the edgy one? That's the one. But I love B Project. Not sure how I felt about the ending to that show. That went a little weird. But I loved the rest of it. I loved how it really focused on, again on the boys. Although um, Subasa was there and like she added absolutely nothing to the show. So, you know. I know I had like other anime that I watched this year, but I don't know what they were. <laughs> I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I'm sure there would be an honorable mention somewhere. So for 2018, we have a few cons that I'd like to talk about. Of course, I am going to KatsuCon. That's a given. Uh, I love Katsu. Um, I am going to NekoCon. We'll talk more about that later. Um, and I am going to Animazement for the first time. This will be my first time going to Animazement, and it, I don't know if it'll be my last time. I saw the ticket prices and had a heart attack, and everybody that I talked to were like, wow, that's expensive for AZ, but like, I'm going. <laughs> so, um, any other cons is probably, maybe, I don't know, I'm hoping for Colossal East, maybe, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, um, but that one's in September, um, some cosplans, uh, at AZ, which is the whole reason why I'm going, is I will be doing Synchron City from Vocaloid, um, r with Rhea and Ray. Rhea is going to be Miku, Ray is going to be Kaito, and I'm supposed to do Luca, but I don't know, I may change that up because I looked at the outfit again and I'm like, wow, that looks almost identical to her regular standard outfit and that's kind of boring. So I may change that up, I don't know yet. Um, I want something a little challenging, but something that's not so plain. You feel me? Some other ones are, I may do Cure 12. I really like her design. Again, like I said, she's a little bit of my brand. <laughs> So I'd like to at least cosplay her eventually. Um, I don't know if I will actually go through with it or not, but we will see. I have a, a, a lot of stuff that I have planned for this year. Another thing that I have planned is Toy Box Shoe for Ensemble Stars. 
Toy Box shoe from Ensemble Stars uh, with Kari, who is going to be Mika um, from the same set. Uh, we, I love that card. It's so cute. I, people can say what they want about it. It's really cute. I don't, I don't know. It's just really cute. It's toys. Let him play with toys. He has a doll. Then I have my mystery cosplays that will come up for a later video. I'm gonna do a whole video on my Katsukon plan, so all of those will be announced then. Um, although you guys saw, I'm doing Mina from My Hero Academia, so that's not a secret. Um, but yeah, I will I will do a whole video on what I'm wearing, when, and if I'm doing anything special for the convention. Um, and then I also have my secret project for the Masquerade at NekoCon this year, um, which I will talk about after KatsuCon because I want to make sure I get my Katsu stuff done. Uh, I have like five cosplays planned. I have got one done. I have two almost done and I keep telling myself I'm going to finish it this week and then I end up dropping the ball completely. <sighs> And I haven't started on two of them, but the convention is in a month and a half. <laughs> but like I said, masquerade. Gonna do it. Which is also a goal for 2018. Did you see that segue? I did. <laughs> I will be competing in the masquerade again at NagoCon. Um, I will talk about those plans again later on. Uh, I will also just like a personal goal. I've been sewing for years and I have no idea how to go from measurements to garment and I would really like to learn. Like I would really like to be able to, I would really like to see something and be like, okay, I can draft my own pattern. And it's not even like drafting patterns because I know that's not the exact same thing, but I would like to be able to you know, you have to learn how to take measurements and then put that into your creation before you can really draft your pattern. So I, those are my goals. Like, this is the things that I would like to do in 2018 is learn how to do that. Hopefully I will have somebody help me out because I, that's what I haven't learned is because I can look at YouTube videos and I was like, okay, but if I mess up, I have no one to go to with like, hey, what did I do wrong? So. The last thing is, is I would like to be more active on here. Um, this is a hobby. This will always be a hobby. I don't see me ever taking YouTube to the career level that some people do. Um, this is a hobby. I do this for fun. I, I want to create content that is interesting for people to watch, but I don't want to like stress myself out. Um, but that's why I maintain, try to maintain at least one video a week because it gives me like a week's period to, to get something else out or sometimes I film like three videos in a week and then I just edit them and put them up and then that way all I have to do is worry about trying to figure out something else and like keeping it in the back of my mind like ooh I could do this for a video. But as you guys know I go through large periods of time with no content whatsoever. I would like to shrink those large periods of time into some content some of the time. <laughs> um, but again, I really wanna make sure that it's interesting for you guys. I don't wanna put out content that I think is boring. Like I've, I've recorded videos and then like, this is garbage. Nobody wants to watch this and I just scrap it. Um, like I, I filmed a video for my, the candy rod that I got. Um, and no matter how many times I filmed it, it just came out terribly. I bought some Monster High dolls from a Goodwill and I love them and I tried to do like a quick review and just like go over what I found because it was just so great that I found them and no matter how many times I tried to record it, it just, it just didn't feel right. So, also that being said, I don't know if I'm gonna change my name on here. I may change it to match all my other social media, that way you can look me up and it's me. Um, but that's a debate for another time, I think. Um, I think most people at this point, I've gotten recognized as dolls and dress up, even though there is a severe lack of dolls in the dolls and dress up. So I don't know. We'll see. 
2018 is a mystery. Like, I have goals, but if they get done, will be a whole nother story. <sighs> but with that being said, I will see you guys next time. See you in the new year. Um, I hope you guys have a happy new year, and I had a great holiday. Bye!